Welcome everybody back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. My name is Free here today. We are going to be talking about a ton of different things from leaks on characters, data mines, things of that nature. Also going to go ahead and give you guys my opinions on what's coming out soon and just a lot. So hope you guys enjoy, of course. Be sure to listen all the way through because I'm going to probably throw a few different angles, maybe give you a few different things to consider as well as part of this discussion. Hope you guys enjoy, of course. Hit that subscribe if you need for more content. Let me know, let me know what you guys think uh, whenever it comes to the end. If you agree, what you think is coming, whatever the case is. So... I want to go ahead and just get started. Right now, uh, the only things that are announced to come into the game are Zamasu and Bojack. You guys can check out a video where I go over them, break down the arts they're using, explaining like how they work and things like that. Also, uh, I do want to point out as well that Kale and Khalifa were confirmed to come via the V-Jump as well. So I assume these units are next. Uh, and also, there is a scenario where Kale and Khalifa could come out alongside these units, right? That's another thing to consider. Uh, a lot of what I'm talking about hinges on the fact that, uh, as Gorish mentions here, uh, these units are not popular enough long story short to really drive a banner by themselves to to be the lone characters on the banner that are new uh to pretty much sell long story short in the game i don't know if kale and khalifa fix that void but you probably would want to expect something a little bit more hype than them and kale and khalifa i still think are more likely to come on a dedicated legends females warrior type banner uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and go over to Gorish's uh, tweet here. So he says, The Zamasu Bojack announcement heavily implies that a new step-up banner will be coming to Legends. All previous Legends Rising banners have featured characters with some relation to each other. Zamasu and Bojack alone would not sell. Expect two more character previews tonight. So what I want to point out here is the most likely in relation character uh, that could come out with these two would be somebody like SS2 Gohan or like, you know, another character from Bojack's gang. I don't really think that's going to happen, but I think SS2 Gohan, if they, hey, yo, if they want to do that with the Goku Gi, I'm all for it. And then, of course, uh, Rose would be the next one that would be obviously most likely to come out in relation to Zamasu if you really want to kind of stick by that. And what he is saying is also evidenced by, like I said, or well, like he said anyway, when it comes to the banners, a lot of times when you do have a new banner, they are in relation. You see here, you have these two and then the outer two in relation as well. And that's pretty much it. Now, I do want to point out that they've kind of been doing something weird here that I kind of just noticed. They haven't really had a dedicated Legends Rising banner in quite a while. I think the last one was the original iteration of Gogeta and Janemba's release, which is back in October. So consider that as well. Again, though, I, I do want to point out that banners like this technically count because they do feature the units that would be Legends Rising specific. So keep that in mind. The step-up banners, the New Year's banner technically counts, but they haven't had a dedicated Legends Rising themed named banner. Again, keep that in mind. So that, to me, makes me think that something like that could happen. They could have just scrapped the whole Legends Rising idea as well and maybe do, like Gorash mentions, a brand new step-up banner. So let's go ahead and talk about the other characters that could potentially be coming. For one... There are a ton of characters that are, have already been uh, data mined to be in the game. We're going to talk about that. And there are a lot more that haven't been publicly data mined as well in the game too. And one of the things that, that really uh, kind of goes back to is some of the voice data lines we have from Komodo. So Komodo has publicly put out one of the voices. Uh, apparently there's a lot more, but he has one of them, and it's Rosé. So I don't know if Rosé's voice was actually playing or not, but I'll leave a link to it down below. You guys can listen to it. But... Pretty much, Rosé's voice is in the game, so it's it's possible, right? And long story short, they pretty much just port these characters over from another game. But that being said, let's take a look at some of the other stuff that is in here. We have Kaba, we have Trunks, uh, we have a Vegeta. We also do have, uh, and the black is pretty much characters that have probably already come out by now. Uh, Vegeta GT, Goku Kid GT. Uh, it's not. Oh, it's mentioning SS1 for both of those, by the way. So it's not like it's SS4 or anything crazy like that. Also, Goku wouldn't be labeled as kid technically. Probably not anyway. Trunks GT, uh, regular base is what they're saying. There's another Trunks GT version two. There's a Goku, a teen Goku. I don't. Oh, probably from uh, from Dragon Ball the original series. Thouser. Uh, they have a third form cell. Third cell. I don't know. Uh, whatever. I whatever. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing with that. Another Thouser. We have Boo first, which could either be uh, a brand new Fat Boo, could either be Kid Boo because it's technically the original form, whatever the case is. We have Zamasu. We have Kale. Those are two characters that we know about. And then at the very, very bottom, we have Vegito. So Vegito is an interesting one because I've said it a lot, but any character that you expect to come eventually to the game will make their way into the game. 
Like, that's just the nature of gotchas. They are going to go ahead and put all of the Dragon Ball characters they can put into this game into the game. And I'll even tell you what, they'll even get to a point eventually, a few years down the line, where they just start reprinting characters from the exact same moments just because that's just how this works, right? So there's going to be a ton of Vegitos eventually. And, you know, when we get back to what they were doing with the banners, this is where things get a little interesting too. They were in the middle of doing some Boo Saga stuff. So we get back here, Ultra Space Time 6, they drop a few new Boo Saga units, and then from there, they literally skip the rest of Boo Saga. They don't drop anything else. Uh, well, they do, but they don't really. They put these two out, the Goku and the Vegeta, and that's pretty much it. They just do that, and they're done. They didn't do Super Boo. They didn't do the variations of Super Boo. They didn't do any Gohans, whether it's Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, uh, you know, adult Gohan. They don't do, uh, well, whatever the case is. He's, what, 16? Anyways, long story short, they don't do any of that. They also didn't do, um, what's it called? The Ultimate Gohan. They didn't do any of that stuff. They just kind of moved on, right? So... We move into the movie stuff. They reprint these Legends Rising banners. Then we get over here to uh, episode specials with the Bardock and the Chilled. All that type of stuff. And they just kind of never came back. So there is room. And then we're all the way over here where they take a step back actually in time and forward. You know, because they're doing the Trunks stuff from the future and Trunks from the past. Which is why Future Gohan's there. And they also do have the Trunks story event from the past. So they could theoretically go back and continue that. Right? So, again... This right here just proves that at some point, Vegito will be coming into the game. Uh, it, it, this is where things get a little tricky because I'm not telling you he's coming tomorrow. I'm not telling you he could. He could, he could be that other character that comes out that actually makes this banner a hit and makes people actually pull on it because let's be real. How many of you guys are actually going to pull on the banner if it's just Bojack and Zamasu? Most of you won't, right? So it's possible. Uh, and they could go ahead and just cross realities. It doesn't have to be an older unit coming out with older units. It could be a newer unit, whatever the case is. I don't know. But there's a bunch of stuff that's already on the docket to be released, long story short. So that's pretty much the premise of this, ultimately. Now, I do want to kind of circle back to the Rosé thing because uh, this image has been floating around. So... This was from Xenoverse's, Xenoverse 2 uh, DLC pack, I believe, 3. Anyways, that being said, they do drop Zamasu, Bojack, and Rosé all in one. That's a really interesting pairing because it's just like, okay, well, you know, we have these two and, and then Rosé. Well, no, it's really Rosé and Zamasu. Then Bojack is just thrown in, right? You, you get why the other two would come together because they're the same person, technically, anyways. But still. That being said, it's a weird pairing. And, well, all of a sudden, we have the same thing happening here with Legends, where they have those two announced, and they don't have the last one announced. Now, consider this, too, that there is actually no in-game announcement about any sort of uh, maintenance net yet. So they could potentially tonight put that announcement in there for, le for maintenance, whatever the case is. Uh, that'll take place tomorrow night. And then tonight, they could, on the official Twitter, drop some more characters. And I've, again, already labeled out a few of them. It could be a Boo Saga character, like a Vegito, like a Gohan, like a new Gotenks. I don't know. It could be a character from this list as well. It could be uh, somebody that comes out alongside this list. I don't know. And then also, it could be Rosé. I think Rosé is a very likely possibility. But people are really speculating that Rosé will come out on either valentine's day or the first anniversary for the game i think that's a strong possibility as well due to wanting to have something hype centered around holidays or big celebrations so consider that as well this game hasn't really done many if ever actually download celebrations so i don't really know what they're doing with that there could be another celebration planned also i imagine that if they're going to do something and this is all speculation if they're going to do something at the end of uh this event right here so we do have a new login bonus if they are going to do something at the end of this which ends on the 29th so we have another week or so if they're going to do something at the end of this like drop a character banner i imagine they'd probably do the regular gotcha thing and try to siphon out your stones before that comes so you're more likely to spend money by dropping a new hype character these characters <laughs> these are not going to do it they're not going to do it they're not going to do it. And the reason why uh, people also, and I'm trying to cover every single angle, uh, a lot of this, like 40% of this is stuff that most likely will happen, right? It's just conjecture. Um, but people are speculating something could happen here because last time they had one of these, something happened, and they dropped the they dropped the Broly, right? There's been no word on a Gogeta, but Gogeta's model and everything is in the game, so he's basically ready to go at any moment. So that's another thing that could potentially happen, you know? And if they want to have a hype banner come out, 
why not try to try to get you to spend some more money before that? That's typically how it goes. I mean, even if we look at the list of summons as well, well, look what happened here. They did it again right here. So we come over here. They have the Black Friday banner, which was a really, really good step up banner. And then it turns into Broly and then reprints of all these Legends Rising banners. Like they just threw all of that stuff out there and they really, really, really tried to get you. And then right before all of that, we get into this stuff and we have Bardock, who is the most popular character in the game because he's so good. And they just, they have, they've been trying it, right? So every character features at least one marquee profitable every every banner features at least one marquee profitable character unless they're master packs or these legends themed banners right so consider that too so that's something to consider all right i think we've covered just about every angle to summarize though do i think that vegeto is coming tonight on this banner no but he is coming at some point and probably sooner than you think that's what i will say and it could just be regular vegeto it doesn't have to be and i want to point that out too if we take a look here, they actually do mention that uh, Kale is Berserk, Super Saiyan 1. They're going to consider her Super Saiyan 1 uh, Berserk is what I'm imagining that B means. They don't, And they also do mention up here, GT Goku SS1 and uh, Vegeta SS1. Trunks, Kaba up here, SS1. They don't mention anything for Vegito. They don't even put an S to imply Super, as you would call him Super Vegito. That right there probably indicates that's just a base Vegito, but still, a, a lot of people would still kind of go for a base Vegito. I think they just want Vegito in general, but a lot of people obviously would want Super Vegito. But nonetheless, um, we'll see. I don't think he's coming tonight. I think that Rosé is more likely than Vegito, especially because Rosé's lines have been out for a while now. I think that's possible. They're really, really pushing this tag here too, which is why I had this open. Rosé and uh, Zamasu would fit nicely into this they're trying to build several teams at the same time uh the last batch of characters did try to build upon god key as well and all of a sudden with those characters added this list of two goes to a list of four potentially and all of a sudden you have the makings of a very very solid team and two of which are sans so they should be able to kind of put some of those sand units on the bench and be good from there they're trying to build multiple teams they're building that and then of course you know uh something they've been doing too is with these characters been doing the five star double tag boost so they can build two teams at once future and hybrid there and then over here uh future and female warrior so i would be remiss to say that the new characters right i don't know about bojack i think he's just going to be movie sagas he might even be blue just to replace blue broly but at the least i think zamasu is going to be future and god key i think that's most likely and if they drop another unit like him like rose i do think that's the case and another thing i want to point out on the front of zamasu Sustaining slice damage up is interesting. That really makes me think they're going to drop another unit that can utilize slice damage uh, bonuses as well. So consider that. And the only ones in the game that really do that are characters that have effects with their Strike Arts card, like a Trunks. Uh, typically, because he has a sword, he does bonus slice damage. And other than that, I don't really think there's too many other cards that do ultimates or anything like that. But a Rosé would, of course, because he'd be using his little sword like Zamasu does. So... There's a lot. There's a whole lot that's coming potentially. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed, of course. Hit that subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you guys think. Have an awesome day, everyone. And I'll catch all of you in the next Dragon Ball Legends video. Take it easy, everybody.